back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. I am Hadija al Sagaf. Or Hadija, or anything. Uh, but today, this is the second edition to my Eid 2017 makeup look. This look is simple. I mean, for some people, they might not find this simple, but this is like a really simple yet glam makeup look. And I have three lip options for you guys. A nude, a mild toned pink, and this bright red lip. And yeah, I promised myself I didn't want to do a bold wing liner. Um, and then this happened. Don't ask. I got way too heavy handed with that shit. Like, <laughs> I got way too heavy handed. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social medias. My Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat are all linked down below. So you guys want to know how I got this look? Then just please keep on watching. So first, I'm going to take my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelids to set my eye primer in place. I'm using my Real Techniques, I think it's a beige shadow brush, but I might be completely wrong about it. But anyways, to set my eye primer in place, I'm taking the Mother Home Contour Kit in the yellow banana shade just to set my eye primer in place so that when I apply other shadows on top of it, it's like easier for them to blend together nicely. For the first shadow, I'm going to go in with my Milk Cosmetics Dark Mathis Tech. I'm going to go in with the shade Blur, which is like a orangey light. It's a very light orangey brown. And I'm going to blend it into my crease with my BH Cosmetics number 101 brush, which is just a basic, big, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put that from the outer corners all the way to the inner corners, just to give a nice transition shade to the crease. If you hear my voice and it sounds a little bit more weirder than usual, it's because I have my retainers on, so please, I'm sorry, just bear with me. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Unseen, which is like a more darker, warmer, orangey brown, a more a more warm tone brown. And using my e.l.f. blending brush, I think this is like $4.90 or $7.90 or something like super ridiculous like that. It's like super duper cheap. I love this brush. It's like a smaller blending brush to blend that into the smaller parts of your crease and that's exactly what you're gonna do you're just gonna apply the shade unseen on the inner like really really deep into the socket of the eye and then i'm gonna go in with the shade rot now this is from the rust stack if you guys don't have it just use any dark brown shade you're gonna use a liner brush and you're just going to line that on the outer corners of the crease as you guys can see and then start blending that out so you're just going to apply it again and then blend it out again this is just to mimic a crease on the outer corners and it looks very beautiful and very put together and just gonna continue doing that and just blend 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 you guys know the drill all you do is blend okay like that's a life motto that's everything you have to do with your life just blend okay and then i'm gonna go back in with the shade unseen from melt cosmetics and i'm just going to deepen out the crease or like warm out the crease to make it more like ooh warm shades on my eyes and then to outline my wing i'm going to use the za cosmetics liquid eyeliner do you see how sharp that liner is can cut a bitch yes and then yeah i'm just going to use that and then to fill in the gaps i'm going to use the catrice liquid liner in dating joe black you guys know i use the za cosmetics for waterproof and then the catrice cosmetics to make it more matte because that's what i like that's what I like. That's what I like. Okay, sorry. And then I'm going to use a green correcting concealer. I should have put on my primer first, but I totally forgot. So if you guys were not as stupid as me, you guys going to put your primer first. And then I'm just going to apply that with a smaller concealer brush just on the blemishes on my face because I have a lot of redness, which I can see doesn't peek through camera. But if you see me in real life, it's kind of bad because... Mother Nature is calling real soon. And then for primer, you guys know I always use this. This is the Australis Matte Out Primer. I kind of like it, but like, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, you know? And then for foundation, I'm going to take my Silky Girl Skin Liquid Foundation mixed with my e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer. And I'm just going to blend that out onto my skin. And I swear to God, the foundation matched my neck perfectly. 
But no, you guys will see at the end. Not the end lah, but like midway, you'll see what happened. You'll see what happened and then you'll understand my pain. After you put on your green concealer, and then after you put on your foundation, you want to conceal it again to make sure that the green concealer don't peek through. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to take my MAC Studio Finish Concealer and apply it on the places that I applied that green concealer and just blend that out properly. To conceal and highlight my under eye, I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer and just applying that underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my chin, my forehead, you know the drill. And the only reason why I put it on my nose, my forehead, and my chin is to make sure that it balances out the face so that it won't be just like stark white underneath the eye. And then again, blending that out using my damp beauty blender. Beauty blender. Booty blender. Now, this is a powder that ruined my face. Do you see the amount of powder cake up? It, it was ridiculous. Not to mention it smells like quite bad. Um, this is the Australis Loose Translucent Powder. It's, I don't recommend getting it if you're not like super duper fair or pale. Don't get it because it leaves like this really bad look underneath your eyes. You know what I look like? I look like the girl from White Chicks. <laughs> you know when she asked to uh, like when the girl's name, the blonde hair girl, and when he asks um, Brittany or Tiffany to powder her nose, and she goes like, Pff. that's exactly how I look like right now. <laughs> Taking off this powder was not easy either. You guys can see I'm using a fan brush to remove it, and it still did not work. It was still like super duper white underneath my eyes, so I decided to go in with a bigger powder brush to try and remove it. It was still pretty bad. Mm. And then I had to bronze on my skin because my skin was looking so white because of that powder. So I'm using my Catrice Contour Powder and I'm using a bronzing powder to bronze up my skin because I feel like it's like a warm bronzer and it just looks nice. I, I don't know, I like it. Even though I like bronzed the crap out of my skin, I still feel like um, it wasn't that good of a standard, honestly. And then I tried to like correct it with like regular powder and then like <laughs> I was like really shocked at the amount of fallout. Still, I feel like it didn't like really make the whiteness go away. And then to contour my face, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with my Real Techniques Contouring Brush. Now I'm going to go in with my Becca X Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Palette for blush. I'm going to take the shade Pample Mousse, which is like a rosy shade, which is like a more pinky rosy shade. And it's like a beautiful color and it matches the eye look really nicely because... The eye look is so neutral that you need a pop of something on your cheeks. And you guys know the drill. Highlight starts with a shimmer stick. This is the 3CE Shimmer Stick in the shade Peach. Love this. Favorite thing ever. You guys know the drill. Apply it on my cheekbones, on the high points of my cheekbones. And then blend it on my fingers. For highlight, I'm going to take the shade Prosecco Pop and apply that onto my cheekbones. Can you see that blinding highlight? Oh my god. Blinding. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm getting a way too ahead of myself. And then going to go back to the eyes. I'm going to take the shade Unseen and Blur. Super simple for the, for the lower lash line. Just blend that both together on your lower lash line. That's what I'm going to do with that same e.l.f. smaller blending brush. And then to highlight my brow bone as well as my inner corners, I'm going to go back in with the shade Prosecco Pop. Now for lip options, we have three lip options and this is for my girls who prefer a more nude lip option. I'm going to first take Max World Lip Liner, line my whole entire lips with it and then fill it in. And then apply the Kylie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Expose. My favorite nude combo, it's one of the best nude combos in my opinion for my skin colors. So this is how it looks. <laughs> Now these are for my girls who don't like nudes, who, who like a little bit more of colour but don't like like red. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Catherine Liquid Lipstick. It's like a more berry shade. I don't know why but it comes off on camera like super duper red but I promise you it's like a pink and a berry mixed together. It's <laughs> Now this is for 
my girls who want a bright red lipstick with this super neutral eyes. I'm going to line my lips with the LA Girl Lip Liner in True Red. And then apply Stila Seal Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fiery. So yeah, this is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. I love you girls. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye! <laughs>